okay yeah this is one of these uh just got a habit tools there's a diesel engine camshaft well it's a timing pin locking set okay this one's a Sealy VS129 and uh, VS1291 right. what's included in this kit having a load of paperwork plus the instructions is your basic timing kit this will cover three or four engines which is your, your 1519J engine your 200 and your 300 TDI what I'll do here is introduce you to the bits and pieces which is actually in the kit this isn't an advert by the way this is actually mine alright so what you have here is a timing pin kit here and a timing pin for the, pin for the flywheel 200 and 300 TDI one of these will also fit the old 2.5 uh, naturally aspirated diesel and the turbo diesel versions you've got a timing pin here which if I bring it up can you see that that's for the injector pump for Lucas as some of the engines later on didn't have a timing marker in the uh, pulley uh, cover area because you need to use one of these pins to lock the pump up first you have the timing pin for the later Bosch pumps on the 200-300 TDI um, engines you also have a, uh, a pulley puller and a uh, if you want to remove the injection pump you have a plate plus the bolts to hold the pulley in place with the timing cover on while you remove the injector pump these four bolts obviously for this this bolt here screws in for the pulley okay now this little kitty here I'll explain that as well later because it needs to be stuck in the, once you've taken the bolt out the crank dog nut that has to be slipped in all right that's this is the basic kit but it doesn't go far enough there are other tools that are needed but I'll, I'll basically I'll give you a basic explanation of them and then, okay this one is the uh, crank pulley for the uh, actually 200 TDI what I've done I've removed the pulley section so what you're left with is this basically which is partly a damper what you can't really do is get a three-legged puller on this the reason being if you look around here there's a rubber damper all right so if you've got the puller on the outside and try to pull it it flexes more on the rubber right the thing is with this kit that I've got it doesn't go far enough because it doesn't give you enough tools what I have here which is FR Churchill number FR 101 that is for holding can you see that how that's dropped in the slot there that's for holding this while it's on the engine and then you can crack the dog nut off dagger dagger with the old air gun or with a socket and bar all right once that off once that is off you can make one of these actually once that's off you can then put a puller on this these can be a pain to slip off some people actually thread lock these on because looseness can actually make this chatter but um, they can be a pain so what you've got is this puller in the kit all right but that comes also with this piece here all right I've actually got the original Land, Land Rover one and as you can see in here there's a ball bearing and this part here assists the ball bearing okay so that basically drops in there into the, the crank you then fit that on there you have four bolts one two three four okay and with any puller if you actually look at this clip what we're doing here is pulling off a trailer hub now it's the bearings is um, cassette bearings and it's almost an inter interference fit on the stub as you can see it has to be pulled off evenly as with any pullers their job is to pull something evenly it will come a lot better than trying to put a lever behind it or two levers okay so basically looking at this obviously you got your your bolts threaded down and you can then turn this the threads want to be lubricated you get it's not just lubrication but you get a certain amount of hydraulic pressure with it as okay timing pin for the injector pump 
Bosch VE type basically slots in the hole here and the pump is locked if you have a 200 TDI what you'll find is there there is actually a locking peg on the side here of the pump what you have to do is undo it slip this plate out and then screw it up and that will lock the body the pumping body so it won't move if for any reason that you're taking it off and putting it back on just be aware that if you have done this that you have to put the plate back in to pull the the plunger away okay these two babies here I'll bring it up to the camera these are uh, your crank locking tool they screw it up in where your uh, waiting plug would be on the flywheel housing as you can see there's two different sizes here one's for 200 one's for the 300 TDI alright the different slot holes as well now the reason they're like this is just in case you have to start the engine and forget this they'll drop out alright they're expensive on their own what I made myself for my 300 TDI well this is actually an air fitting with a whole direct centre and a piece of steel through it okay and that's screwed into the same place just to lock the flywheel in place that way your um, it won't slip when you're working on it they do slip that's why you need a pin a timing pin injector pump pulley support tool you see this has got a lip on it this actually fits on the timing case assist you take the injector pump off without having to disturb the uh, timing belt basically there's two slots here and a hole for your timing pin and then corresponding to these slots there's two bolt holes in this pulley so basically this goes in the timing case front cover two bolts through and that supports this gear wheel leaves you free then to take your injector pump off timing gear is not disturbed I will add however you do have to remove the plate and the three bolts before you do this operation otherwise you might be struggling there's three bolts on the back and the bracket but okay this more than five minutes to explain that one we're only doing tools at this period in time right then that's where this kit actually stops all right there's not enough stuff here I've got a few extra tools that I've borrowed so we'll have a look at them firstly I recognize this this is the uh, crank timing pulley this one can be a bit of an ass to remove so what Land Rover actually come up with is this tool here all right this is a dual purpose one as you can see you've got three bolt holes here which are M5 you've also got the corresponding holes on this tool plus you've got a keyway if you see that for the uh, keyway on the crank they bolt on there you also need to chuck this one in there so you're not going to damage the threads or anything and then screw it to pull this part off that's one part of this puller okay this one camshaft this tool doubles up you have to remove this part first this is for removing the camshaft pulley if you want to get and replace a seal which I would recommend every service tell me about service sorry not every service All right. these actually do screw in here okay so again you have this wonderful little baby here corresponding to the ball bearing alright and then you use it as a puller alright to draw this pulley off okay last but not least this is a injector pump pulley support bracket which fits on uh, 15J engines this one actually is the, uh, the Sherpa type engine this one bolts on the uh, front casing with this part here this not only is a, a pusher to push the uh, injector pump out of the pulley but it also holds the pulley in place so you don't have to uh, disturb the timing belt so that basically fits in there then you're bolting it and then as you screw this in it pushes the pump out 